Yep, the sound, the sound effect, the siren has been all wired in. As you can see, here we go. This is our first connection loop. It goes down, down over all protective sleeved, and that's all been cable tied. The rubber rubber bung has been put in as well. And, uh, Put a five amp a fuse because it doesn't need that much, and uh, if anything happens, it will just go boom quite easy. So, yeah, so basically, that's it all active. And let's let's basically try it out. <laughs> Well, that works. It's got more functions, but we'll be testing them out later on. And, uh, what I want to do now is, I'm thinking I'm, I need to fit four lights in the grill and wire them in, wire them into the, well, basically, into the block in the front, so they're all, uh, working together and stuff so yeah i'm gonna pop this grill off it's already off basically so it just comes off like that nothing easy nothing special and uh, we'll get them sorted i'm gonna go do that in a workshop so yeah we'll get them in get the wires into the to the cabin, see where we can rot them up, and uh, we'll be wiring them ones in. So let's get it done. So what I did is I used some sticky tape, put them in a plate, and then I put some uh, small short screws, what came with them. So they're definitely going over, it looks cool like. And uh, all I have to do is I just need to uh, sort these wires and basically hide them away and I'm just gonna do it in the time lapse. I'm just gonna sleep. Well, I'm not gonna sleep them up. I'm just gonna wrap them in a tesser tape and basically send them across. And then we'll see how it's gonna go in the car. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. But the outcome is lovely. <laughs>
basically. Everything's all the cable I've wrapped it on the Tesla tape and basically we'll be going back to the car and uh trying to fit it in. And I'm I think I'm just gonna time lapse it as well. I'm just gonna chuck it in, hide the truck trace the cable where it needs to go on from on the other side I put hot glue in places so you so the wires are not dangling or nothing so everything nice and secure and as you can see you cannot see no no wires here really apart from the ones that are coming from the lights but that's fine that's really really good the way it came out so yeah cool that's what it looks like so let me get back to the car and get it all in <laughs> Right, so the grill has been fitted back in, that's all in, the cable is going down there, around there, under there, and through there. I had to extend the wires, and done a little, a little soldering and stuff like that, so this is all what it's coming to. These, this set is for the back ones. For them flashing ones and the black cable black link that's for the front and the cable basically comes through there all along same as the radio all along there up up to here so the mission now is to basically where is the little thing if i could find it now what I need to do now is, so this is the tray that normally sits in there. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut that off so that all these blinkers can come in. So this is the control box. I've basically wired two sets into one so they're all in sync. And that little box will be sitting inside. Something like that we'll glue it in and basically once it's all in it'll just push back in and that's it you've got a little controller unit there for all the lights for the grill and that well obviously I need to run power cable to the fuse box and should be good to go so yeah I'm not gonna film that stuff it's just quite simple and basic really just cut cut it in that what yeah I will I will give an update when when I'm done with that everything is in, in place and we'll have a look at the light so the front and rear spark lights have been fitted <laughs> not spark lights but lights the basically fuse box along there and you cut some cable guys goes up there flashes and the back ones do in sync so this side flashes on the back this side will flash on the front too and this is the controller so it does a change mode it does different so this one's like that on the front well on the back it's going to be identical to the front in general yeah 
if you can see, well, it kind of threw the glass so it flashes at the same time. So this is done. This is all finished, all fused. We'll have to change the fuse as I put a 10 amp. It doesn't need that much, but one button and it goes off. Comes on, press your mode and rock and roll. And power off. <laughs> one down the next is to wire this one properly and it's got a control module so i'm gonna have some fun with that but that is basically the last thing that has be got to be sorted and yeah we'll go from there then so right i'm gonna get cotton there's still quite a lot to do Light bar is the last bit, basically the last piece of the puzzle that I need to do and here we are in this pile of a mess but what is the crack for the day is so this is the big thick cable that I've got for the light bar so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have to take the box, glove box out, get a glove box out, then install the control module, this one, if this thing would focus, so here we go, yeah. This is the control module. I'm gonna fit it inside there somewhere and then run this remote cable, the control unit cable, and the control unit itself onto the on the other side on the on our right side of the dashboard, that side of the air pillar, it will get fitted in there somewhere. I believe it will be just above the control unit that what I've just installed there for the fla little flashy grill lights and the rear view lights well rear, uh, rear window lights sorry so I'm not gonna I don't think that I'm gonna I'll film I'm just gonna go for the time lapse I'll film all that I'll take the glow box off I'll take other bits I'll feed the wire through and I'll have to feed another something similar to this I don't know if I'm going to be using this wire or I might go for a little bit thicker wire as this has got quite quite decent wire in here so but I'm not going to be using this I already got a fuse box in the front like you've already seen before so yeah I'm going to get cracking get this stuff apart install what I need to install then on the cables and hopefully we'll get it done once this done then it's the d-day and that's me done with this but yeah let get me cracking then <laughs>
So here we are. That's being installed. That's how it's gonna look like, and it's already flashing. It's already going good. <laughs> so I ran the cable down there across all oh, cable tight. The control unit you just barely can see it, it's just up there. Sitting there nicely. Not gonna go anywhere, cables run through all the way to here. Well I've got a cable tied there, still haven't done that board and goes up above. That's how it sits in there. Screw down and all good really. And what I was gonna show there, it goes into the fuse box. Into the fuse box, it's got 15 ampere fuse. That's what it came with with a 15 ampere fuse. And basically, I've got one blank for whatever reasons. Maybe it's for the future, we'll plug something in or whatever. But it's there, it's there for him. So, yeah, run through the plus the rubber grommet thing, same as like over here. And basically, yeah, that's it for the light bar. Light bar is on, online. Here we go. Flashes blue and yellow at the moment. And uh, yeah, that's what it is, really. You know, we've got, it's got many other modes, reds and Jesus Christ, there's about hundreds of modes of that. So yeah, and uh, basically the full, full view. So you put that on. And put that on and that's the front and sides are flashing uh, two seconds put the, put the bonnet down a little bit but here we go can't really see much during the day like but it's working everything is working as it should and we've got these things flashing there as well so yeah all the tone signals Signals are working fine too. Champion, spotty dog. No, I need to clean all the car up, put that air pillar back on, and tidy this thing up really. So, yeah, so far so good. Uh, I'll still go over with, with it all when, uh, when everything's back together, but at the moment it's working. That's the main part, so yeah, cool, let's get it all finished up. Fast response vehicle is finished, and we've got these little lights, and then we've got the big light on the top. And then all these little small ones, I don't think you'll be able to see them uh, there somewhere there. It's just because the wind is tinted, you can't see them as good. But yeah, this is all done. This is all the controllers that you have. And the mic with the five tone sirens. So you just basically press the button. Go for the mode A and it does this flash. Both fronts flash are identical. That and then you've got press button here and it shows you what mode is it on. You can go for many many different ones. Whichever whichever one you would want. So and that's it. Like I say, do, 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 do. that works. <coughs> Sorted. Clips on. Clips off. All nice and tidy. So, let's have a look of the. Flashing good. Absolutely belter. 
I lowered the way it turned out. Now you can see them lights a little bit better. But during the night it's gonna be a cool one. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching. <coughs> I'll still have the I have another separate video but for the install this is it people. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If like I said if you wanna ask me something or whatever whatever you want you want of any information about stuff or stuff like that just give us a message just comment and uh, i'll reply to it as soon as i possibly can so there you go that's how you turn a normal car into a fast response vehicle and that's what you've got to do to fit the fast response vehicle lightning so yeah thanks for watching people Jay style with you and I'll see you in the next time.